For a semiconductor manufacturers, there's no way around AI. I work for a team called the AI Central Excellence, and our mission is to help Infineon uh, as a whole uh, make progress towards its AI maturity. AI has the potential uh, to help us um, basically develop our products uh, better, faster, uh, and, and at less cost, um, all the way from research to manufacturing to sales. Uh, and at the same time, it has the potential uh, to help us develop better products. We're very lucky to have partners such as Applied AI and the Partner Network. Uh, we can work with companies like Siemens, like BMW, uh, Linda, MTU Engines, um, to collaborate together and learn from each other on you know, what is the best strategy for AI, how do we implement use cases, and at the end, how do we grow on our AI journey. AI is one of the most disruptive technologies of our times. Um, it really leads to lots of startups, lots of innovation that not only affects us in the industry, but also at, um, ourselves in our personal lives. And uh, therefore, we decided to create Applied AI. We share knowledge, we work on um, projects, we work on tools and support systems, everything that is needed to really get companies to use AI professionally and create value with it. What we did recently with Infineon is um, in the context of the upcoming AI regulation in Europe. Um, it's called the AI Act, which is the global first regulation on AI as a technology. And um, there are lots of questions and what we did with Infineon and BMW is to create a picture of a complex supply chain, cars, and um, presented the impact of AI technologies on that supply chain to the European Commission and the Parliament. In the near future, uh, we hope to bring a lot more use cases um, to production and make sure that we can actually capture the value um, that we think exists for AI. We're always happy to welcome partners, whether they be startups or companies, uh, into our network and to hopefully foster exchange.